Sagittarius will love five cards for love and you've had the three of swords pop out potentially a third party situation for some of you because you did have the three of wands as well um so there could be a lover's triangle here um temptations multiple offers in love um or discovering that you still have feelings for someone else or the person you're currently uh, are connected to has an ex or someone that they still are connected to in some way here because you do have competition competition has come up with the five of wands because these these um, people are also competitive also are determined to have their own way to to put their own wand forward so there could be a bit of competition here now for some of you it might not necessarily be competition with an ex or another person it could be competing with um, something else for this person's time for example um, there could be other factors that are going to implement uh, are, are going to challenge the priority of your of spending time together like a job a hobby spending time with friends or this person spending time with their friends so there could be something that you feel like is quite challenging um, in regards to your love connections here or choosing between head and heart i did mention things you know a bit open-ended so you might there uh, that I suppose there might be a decision here that needs to be made between head and heart and they're two very different approaches because you know we can apply logic and a logic and rationale but on the other side of the spectrum we can't help but feel what we feel through our hearts and um, what we're emotionally drawn to here Sagittarius so there might be an important decision that you need to make some of you might have an emotional breaking up or separation here the five of swords is walking away at us uh, uh, walking away from a situation it does bring sadness though you can see these people they're genuinely upset by what has occurred here or what, um, and it could be disconnecting from an air sign here a gemini libra aquarius laying something to rest here an ending of some kind and uh, going through healing or heartbreak and i say that because this gentleman is picking up the swords once again so it's picking up the pieces of a broken heart picking up the pieces of your life trying to pick up the pieces about where you went wrong um so a lot of dwelling, I suppose, can happen on something here. A lot of things are still up in the air and you you might need answers. Um, and you might come to someone for answers. But I definitely feel some of you are absolutely laying something to rest or ending communication with someone. Again, it might not be forever. Okay, Some of you might have the strength to reinitiate things. Um, the Leo in the form of the Strength card is about initiating um, as is the magician about new beginnings. So there is a possibility to reconnect um, maybe on a friendship level um, or at least be civil um, in some sort of connection here and not have things end on a very tense or bitter note. Um, but for some of you, there is an improvement in, in a situation. It's going the other way. Um, and you're really growing from the four to the five of swords to the strength card here in regards to love. Um, but there could be a bit of dysfunction here. Um, I guess it's more competition more than anything or dysfunction. Um, I don't know if this is because you're connecting with a lot of other people or other people know your situation, such as family members and friends. But people around you will have a lot to say about who you're connecting with and what it is that you're doing in your love life. Um, so I just thought I'd put that out there. But there could definitely be a destined Leo coming in um, or strengthening of bonds or relationships. Now, the maiden has tamed the, the, the uncontrollable, wild, and undomesticated lion here. And although they're an unlikely pairing, they both have the infinity symbols here. So this is quite powerful. Um, some of you are definitely finding your forever person. I mentioned long term. It might take a few obstacles uh, to get to this person, whether it's obstacles with them or obstacles with another person. Uh, but I do feel like you're finding your forever after and it could be like repetition of cycles, second chances or even past loves that may come back in around you in the time. And it could be the Aries or Leo. But it can also be a change in the way you communicate with your partner or your mate, change or transformation or maybe taking time off, time away from a relationship, going on a break. The Magician card is independence. The Four of Swords is retreat, rest, recuperation, and reflection. Um, so you might be reflecting a lot and about a person. You might be dreaming a lot about a particular person. And maybe you're being divinely guided to them. Um, because it can be seen as a church, which is a, um, a place of reverence for a lot of people. Religion, you know, God, faith, 
Um, it can also be you having faith in a situation or not losing faith in a person or that person not losing faith in you, your relationship and what you have together. So I do feel like it's important to keep things quite open ended um, for a lot of you uh, Sagittarians watching or keep things open. Don't close off chapters as yet, maybe or not even uh, maybe not officially. But then again, each situation is different. Let's have a look at your career, however, uh, business, finance. Okay, important people are coming up around you. Um, potentially two connections or collaborations here. You've got the Twin Flame, the Devil card. You've got the... Um, I guess a darker union, not that it's always bad, but it's adversary. Uh, um, so opposition here, you might be faced with opposition from something, but it could be two collaborations or two different people that you might um, choose between or even two important meetings, job interviews. One could be more successful than the other um, because the devil card can show, I guess, um, not necessarily dark, but it can show a different kind of collaboration or connection here. But important meetings are coming up, possibly with a Capricorn or a Virgo or a Leo, um, which has come up, and then you have the Aries in the general. But there's definitely some sort of union, um, an important contract. Uh, the High Priestess holds an important document on her um, in her hands. It could be the deed to a home. It could be a worker's contract. Um, it could be some sort of written information here that you'll need to keep for correspondence and evidence of some kind. So that could be crucial for a lot of you. Um, you know... The devil card isn't always bad, but it can be someone that's taking you for granted a little bit. Um, it can be uh, someone here that's sort of being um, the slave driver, so it could be a very intense um, period, or you might have to, you, you might feel like there might be people manipulating you in the workplace, maybe leaving you out of things here, Sagittarius, with the Five of Pentacles, not. Um, not giving you the bonuses they've promised, not um, giving you your dividends, for example, because it can point to financial struggle or destitution. Um, and the devil card can be um, overindulging in something here. So maybe watch your finances quite closely. Be analytical. The hermit is here, which is the Virgo. This is the perfectionist. They're very um, meticulous, uh, have great attention to detail and focus and, and, and a lot of vigilance. So vigilance is required. Keep an eye out on the way people are behaving and acting in the workplace um, because there could be certain things that are happening around you that you need to keep an eye out on. Again, accountability, things up in the air, accountability, um, responsibility. Someone needs to be held responsible for something that may occur in your career or in your business, for example. Um, but the high priestess can represent fertility and planting a seed or an idea. Um, she's also a prophetess, so anything that's happening around could be prophesized for you. Um, so events, circumstances, the people that you're meeting with, it's all part of the divine plan here. Um, and it will impact or shape your distant future, I feel. Um, the High Priestess is also deeply intuitive. So you might have an intuition about something or a hunch. Um, she's also very, very creative, very fantastical. So if you do have anything you're doing creatively, whether it's art, design, fashion, music, photography, um, consultancy, anything that you're doing that you deem creative. Um, I feel like there is a lot of source of inspiration that's going to come to you um, during this time. Um, but I do see important meetings or important people. Um, you know, this thing is a twin flame. I'm not sure if you're meeting a twin flame through career. Uh, you could even be starting a business with someone you're involved with romantically or sexually even. You might both have a lot of ideas and you might be putting forward these ideas or discussing these ideas. Um, maybe trying to collect resources as well. Money. Okay, money could be a little bit tight. You might not be in the best financial position to make entrepreneurial things happen as yet, but that's not to say you can't plan them. You've got the hermit and the magician, both of which are deeply autonomous and very talented in their own right, but they breed autonomy here. So um, it's either you're mixing with people who are also entrepreneurs or you're combining ideas with other people who are independently creative to bring about something powerful um, and something quite um, prestigious, I think. Something that could be 
extremely successful for a lot of you. Uh, so that could also be coming up as well. But a lot of collaborations, a lot of unions, just be mindful of the devil because he is known to manipulate and sometimes the Aries, uh, sorry, the magician can be seen as a, I guess they alter the way we see things to suit our liking and they bring about some tempting offers. So um, be careful of what's being offered to you. Make sure it's not too vague and you be specific about the details. Otherwise, it could leave you. It could leave you in a um, bit of a precarious situation here, Sagittarius. So make sure you've got, you know, you're shining light on things that are vague and you're reflecting on them. Um, the Hermit card can also be patience and guardianship and protection, um, patent, copyright, uh, things like that. That could be important. Um, but I do f feel, for the most part, in terms of career, you'll be very, very busy. Um, but a, a, a people, you've got people behind you, people supporting you in some way, shape or form here as well. So that is for the most part, very, very positive. Um, look, I will leave your reading at that though, Sagittarius. I hope this has been enjoyable and has helped you. 